Hey guys, it's Tanya and I am sitting on the floor in my living room. I figured we would do a less chat video and just chat it up for a little while. If you guys are new here, my name is Tanyelle. I am the non-traditional mommy and I do videos on mommy needs, baby needs, so different reviews. We talk about homeschooling, we talk about marriage, just all kinds of different topics. So go check out some more of my videos. If you're anything like me, you'll have to watch multiple videos to see if you want to hit that subscribe button. For those of you who are already part of the non-traditional family, you know you are the MVP and I love you bunches. So let's jump into this video. Today I wanted to, um, or tonight rather, I wanted to chat with you guys about judging people who work in certain environments or um, carry certain job titles. So that's kind of what I want to chat about. So let's grab your drink, grab your wine or your hot chocolate or whatever you drink at whatever time of day it is that you're watching this video. Let's talk about um, just the judgments around certain career fields or jobs or whatever you want to call it. Um, I was watching a video in regards to going to college and having learning skills and being able to do some type of skill so that you aren't trapped in an unskilled profession or at a job that is an unskilled kind of job if that makes sense and that kind of struck me because i thought is there really a certain job that's considered a, an unskilled job like you you don't have to have any kind of skill to do this particular job and i personally feel that that's not the case i feel like anything any job requires a skill the level of that skill may be different but it does require some type of skill so a little background about myself i started working at 14 and worked all the way up until i was 25 is when i quit working and became a stay-at-home mom and even then I did like little side things and when I got my master's and so forth and so on and so in those 11 years of working I have worked just about every type of job you could possibly think of I worked um, cleaning bathrooms at a rest stop I worked at an air conditioning place putting on the filters um, for air conditioning so I, it was like an assembly line and I would add the filter to the air conditioning whatever it was I don't even know what it was but that's what I did <laughs> I did that one summer that I was home from college I pretty much would work anywhere that provided me a paycheck and I must say that every single job that I had my very first job was at McDonald's um, so I started there when I was 14. That was my very first job. And I believe that every single job that I worked taught me a skill, some type of skill. It taught me a skill. It strengthened the skill that I already had. It made me aware of skills that I had that I didn't realize I had. And every single one of those jobs brought me to where I am today and I believe the reason that I am able to be an entrepreneur run a business and you know know how to be an owner operator manager and everything else in between that comes with owning a job so you know to say that well you know you work at McDonald's that doesn't really require a skill I think um, is not true and so judgmental it is that statement is so judgmental one of the things that also kind of struck me was you know they were talking about 
being able to live a certain lifestyle or be able to afford things and the notion was if you work in one of these environments or at a job that doesn't require a skill that you ultimately won't be able to afford certain things in life so let's just talk about that for a minute a let's talk about lifestyle I feel like everybody's choice of lifestyle is different and if we were truly honest and authentic and organic with ourselves or our organic selves more than likely we're all not going to want the same type of lifestyle when we're honest with ourselves and not influenced by the outside social world we easily realize that we may not want a lifestyle. You may not want to own a house, and that's okay if you don't want to own a house. And so, and even if you did want to own a house, that doesn't mean that working at a job such as a fast food place cannot provide you with that house. In my opinion, it is all about how you spend your money, how you budget, how you save, um, how you do not go into debt these things matter if you are working at a job that pays minimum wage but you don't have this astronomical amount of debt sitting here or you're not blowing your money on certain things then you absolutely could be able to afford a house will it be um you know a five thousand seven eight thousand square foot house maybe not however do you have to have a 5,000, 7,000 square foot house? Probably not. So I thought that that was kind of to say that to me, um, I just felt like was very judgmental and kind of came off as though, well, if you work in this class of work, A, you're, you don't have a skill and B, you're not going to be able to afford a lifestyle, a certain kind of lifestyle. And I think putting those type of judgments onto um, you know, generations after generations after generations is just so unfair. It is just so unfair. Um, for me as a mom, I tell my kids I want them to do what ultimately is going to bring them joy and passion and fulfillment and whatever it is that they're doing is going to leave this world in a better place for the next generations to come that is ultimately you know what i tell my kids if it's college if you want to go to college do college if it's not college don't do college if it's some type of trade do the trade if it's not a trade don't do the trade if you want to own a business own a business whatever if it's a nonprofit whatever if it's backpacking across the country um if it's RVing across the country if it's just having babies and being a wife whatever it is that you feel is your ultimate fulfillment and ultimate purpose and if that thing is going to leave this place better than it was before you did it then that's what you need to do so um yeah, I just I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about a skilled job versus an unskilled? I don't even like saying that an unskilled job. Do you think that there is a such thing? Like, do you feel like working at a fast food place is doesn't require a skill, or being a janitor doesn't require a skill? I personally think cooking is a skill i mean people go to school to become chefs i mean what define a chef you know like well you just flip burgers at mcdonald's well isn't that a chef or you know cleaning cleaning a bathroom and doing it thoroughly and after people <laughs> is a skill you guys like Cleaning a house is a skill. You have people that have full cleaning services. That is a skill that you, you learn that. You learn that skill and you learn how to do that particular thing well. That's my opinion.
that's my opinion so i feel like there is no such thing as an unskilled job so i feel like when we start saying skill unskilled that it is a way to divide us and it is a way to invoke privilege and it is a way to um be able to judge other people so when you start saying things like oh you flip burgers versus oh you're a chef at souffle young restaurant or whatever is a way to provide division and a way to become judgmental it is that's ultimately what that does it's like well i'm in, in privilege well i'm better than you because i am a chef at this five-star restaurant and you just flip burgers there wouldn't you wouldn't be able to have that privilege and that division and that judgment if it was equal and we said hey you guys are both cooking food um you both have to do some type of training to learn how to prep whatever food it is you're cooking you both are chefs now you're a chef here and you're a chef here but you're both chefs and based off of the restaurant you work at determines the type of pay that you're getting so yeah like i feel like when we start saying what well, you just you clean toilets like that becomes a way to uplift those that don't and provide some type of privilege and then a division of good and bad and there to me that is what lies the problem or there lies the problem is when that division happens and that judgment um you know how would you feel if your child said when i grow up i want to be a janitor what would you how would you guys feel about that what would your take be um do you even think that your child would you ever think to do that or do you think that kids as they're growing up and learning and watching the adults around them that they quickly realize that being a janitor is bad and that it's something wrong with that and they don't want to be that um what do you guys think for me i personally treat tell my my children and they see me treat and talk to everybody equally um and if they want to be a janitor hey you better be the best damn janitor that you can be and ultimately the only reason sometimes let me kind of i'm kind of tongue-tied here i think sometimes people think well i don't want my child to be a janitor because they don't get paid enough or you know they're not going to make any money and they're going to be suffering and struggling um my thing is to teach my children to be smart with their money um to be smart with their spending and to understand that there's growth in whatever you do so hey you're a janitor and you may eventually start your own janitorial company or you may move up to head janitor or whatever the case may be there is growth in whatever field that you do and how you manage your money and how you spend and what type of debt you incur determines the lifestyle that you will have anybody you can make a hundred thousand dollars and still not have the best lifestyle because you're in debt and you're wasting and spending frivolously so um what are you guys thoughts tell me what you think about that um as far as is it the job that determines the lifestyle or is it the spending and the debt that determines the lifestyle what are you guys thoughts so yeah those are my thoughts on the whole skilled versus unskilled um jobs i don't feel like there is a such thing as an unskilled job maybe there is one and i'm not thinking like maybe there is something that somebody can do where they literally just have to i'm sitting here i'm like okay what about being a greeter at walmart what about that tanya does that require a skill yes 
you have to have some form of people skills you have to have some form of communication you have to have that type some kind of skill to be able to say hello how are you welcome or have a great day enjoy the rest of your day now if that if you if that skill is good or if you're nourishing that skill or how well you show that skill that's different but you still need some form of communication skills people skills to do that job so i think yes even a walmart greeter has to have skills i don't know if you guys think of one let me know what you think um an unskilled job would be I don't know. That is my little chat today on skilled and unskilled jobs and your line of work providing you with a lifestyle. Um, yeah. So that's it. Let me know you guys' thoughts. I would love to continue this conversation, chat it out, see what we think, see if we agree, see if we disagree or whatever. So let me know what you guys think. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.